Morning everybody. I'm sure uh, all of you are wondering with all the rain that we've had, what does the mouth look like? So come down on the bike and that tree stump there, I'll show you, get, find some uh, photos where it's dry. If I cut across like this, you can see the water is flowing into this area. It's not very fast, not very strong, but it is flowing. And uh, if I scan up across like that, that area there, that gap there, that's where the boardwalk comes out of. Um, and then if we go more south, you can see lots and lots of water all the way down. And I've got my good mate Footy there in the background. You can see him on this one. The rain has abated a little bit. It's very nice, giving us a chance to come out here this video. Very, very strange wind. It's a direct east, which is uh, very unusual. And also unusual to bring rain, but it's uh, cranking at the moment. Um, but across the way there, that is where the water all comes out. And again, I just stopped again so you can see how much water is flowing in. Remember, so far there's been reports of close to 300 millimeters of rain overnight. So uh, lots and lots of water have come in. But um, remember, this is localized. Um, the catchment areas haven't had as much rain as we have, but still lots of water coming in here okay we've come down to the where the boardwalk is and yes we have checked that there's no crocodiles before we got any closer um, but as you can see boardwalk is completely underwater if you go back to some of the previous videos that I've done you'll see that uh, the kind of the last ones the the boardwalk was starting to stick out of the water the water level at the moment I think is more or less the same as what we had the last time we did a series of videos on uh, heavy rainfall that we've had but it still makes for interesting viewing and nice for us as locals to come and see what's going on down here so if you look there that is where the, the old mouth was the pole. and you can see there's a fair amount of water here uh, please remember folks that uh, in a lot of the catchment areas haven't had as much water as we've had uh, so three for example has had 55 that was this morning Lozi side of the Sasuya Falozi Park is only at 25. So those are catchment areas bringing more water down. But uh, this is all good folks, all good. Every bit of rain we can get is gonna help. Okay, so now if we look at these tracks, this is what the guys use um, when they go to launch my blind. You can see the water's coming in here. If we go down close, you can see how it's moving. Um, moving quite quickly but at times it does pause and it tends to go back a little bit but if I go across like this you can see there's a stump that I've been using in previous videos we use as a bit of a marker but the water level is definitely a lot higher if you look out there on the left hand side of the video um, you can see it's it's a lot higher but in the same breath the dune is also a lot higher than has been in the past but uh, yeah, still very interesting um, to see that all the things happening. Here we are at the, the old mouth. You can see the gap is very wide. And nice and few. And then if I go down low, you can see it's still very high to get you over the top of the sea. And I'm not sure how this is going to come out because now I'm facing into the teeth of the wind. In the ocean and as I say it's a very unusual wind to bring rain normally our rainfall comes from up line in other words the south but uh, this is coming off the ocean could be part of the reason why it's so so much better and uh, you can see the sea is angry very angry so now we're riding on the road it's parallel to the beach well, it's really interesting we look at this water here very carefully you'll actually see the water is flowing from right to left but the majority of the water the bulk of the water is a big swamp on our left hand side so uh, obviously this water is coming out of out of here somewhere this section of the road was dry yesterday and uh, yes we are checking for crocodiles but you can see how much water this is
This is the swampy area we were talking about just now. All right, folks, those of you that have come to St. Lucia know St. Lucia well. This is that little like, causeway just before you get to the main beach. And you can see, here's the end of it. So there's lots of water here. And I must be honest, I'm starting to think now that uh, there's a lot more water now in the system than there was the last time we reported and made videos about this. All right, folks, yeah, um, come to the end of the, the road along the beach. And this is the corner from main beach and you can see how much water is lying here so i'm thinking yo there's a lot more water now than there was the last time we did these videos but please understand folks i'm no scientist and i'm just videoing what i see and giving you my opinion it might not always be the correct one but uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos as much as i'm making them until the next time folks keep well